Hi, my name is Vinny Akaritak. I'm an actor for Kindle for Turns uh, on my, my life in theater. Acting, I've been uh, doing like high school theater uh, drama classes. Um, but that was well over 25 years ago now. Um, and in Kaluid, we were doing some, some local uh, production musicals. Um, and then uh, after that, you know, I got into television, so, so I was doing some, some work for IBC, and then through, through that, um, we formed our own production company and, and started producing our own TV shows. Um, and as for um, the theater part, you know, I've always been an advocate for Kageo Performing Arts Society in, in, uh, in the family, and so, you know, you have some ability to pick and choose uh, on some of the projects that they do. So, yeah, that's, that's hard to do. Um, as much as I love television, as much as I love film, um, but those are like one-offs, and, and you don't know how the end product's gonna be until you know editing is done. It's live theater, though. It, it's immediate. It, it's it's there. It's when it, you know you work off of, of the energy of, of the uh, audience, um, and it's like live and raw, and that's what I, I really like. Those are two very different things, and. and you know, sometimes you miss theater, sometimes you miss television, right? So it depends on how you feel, I guess. Um, this run's been much more like, connected and, and raw and, and, and very uh, sexually charged, and it's much more energy to it that, that really gets, um, you see it. When, especially when the audience reacts to it. It's, uh, the, the first run was an amazing run uh, when we did it, but we were also, we had developed it just weeks prior to that. And so now we've, this one has been, it's been around for a couple of years and, and the new director, Lafleur, had, had a different vision uh, for it. And, and uh, we just completely rolled with it and it's been, it's been so good. Um, Kivilk Returns, the name itself, you know, talks about how, uh, for us, we were not familiar with, with Kivilk stories because those stories were sort of, they were banned and hidden away from us for a long time. And, um, and then, you know, to start uh, hearing about them again and to see if they can, you know, connect with us somehow, you know, what can you get away from that, 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 that story? And it's been um, great for us to sort of learn these for the first time. And so, you know, at a time where Gibil or our traditional stories were sort of banned and, and hidden away from us and to finally start coming back to us, it's been, and to relearn and to, to use them, it's been so great. Um, for the roles I have with um, Giville, you know, I play a bully, I play a hunter, I play a, uh, Giville himself, I, and, uh, and then I'm part of the flock of the, the geese, the goose dance, and, uh, so it's various roles. One of the nicest comments that, um, I heard since we started doing the performance here is this uh, indigenous guy saying, I didn't know I can do a whole play in my own language. Of course, touch um, We always have ideas floating around on, on what to do, either on, on film, on, on small screen. Or, or in theater, performing arts. And so, um, Lakaluk and I are uh, developing a, a, a 
a co-production with the Greenlandic Theatre School on, on the roles that our grandmothers made in shaping our lives and, and, and how do we, do you recognize it? Do you see what they're doing or uh, do you just do it without knowing? And so it's that recognition, of, uh, especially with the resilience that they had to have in order to, to make life as best as possible for, for everyone involved. And so it's, uh, it's, it's going to be like an idea uh, that we we workshopped a little bit in, in, in the fall after the Gavilk returns did their three shows in, in Greenland. Uh, two of them stayed there behind and I went over and uh, sort of worked out with some artists there on uh, like how our grandmother shaped our lives and and, and you know the, the and, and like how we can relate to that, everyone can relate to that, and so it's, it's an idea of still in the development stage, and so we don't know what the final product's going to be, but it's, uh, yeah, something, something quite exciting for us. Yeah, it's interesting to think and stop to see if you can recognize something that might be so ingrained Yeah. who your behaviors or who you are as a person. Yeah. Like, oh, actually, <laughs> yeah. that was a big influence on... So it passes on next person to the next person. So, like some of the good stuff, some of the bad stuff can be passed on too. But also the recognition of what the good can be as well. That sounds really exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. what comes out of that. We're, we're pretty excited for it. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, is there anything else you want to say? Yeah. Um, no, it's been a, a, a great one run with the guys. I really been enjoying uh, our time here, and uh, each time we, we do the show, it, it once we start, we, we go on automatic mode now, and then suddenly it's over, and then, and then we're all happy running upstairs and uh, did another great show. So, yeah. Trying to take in the last couple of performances over there. This is it goes on Sunday. Our final, yeah, we're our final show is in a couple of days away. I think we're all eager to just head home, relax. <laughs> yeah, you're on the schedule for a little you bit. Know, cook a meal. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 So uh, check the mail. <laughs> put just, gas in the car. Yeah, you know, sit in a quiet space. Stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. very regular things. <laughs> yeah. Great. Well, um, yeah, we don't have any further questions. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for taking the time. Yeah.